friends. Hey friends. <laughs> I wanted to talk for a little bit about um, some of the things that I do with the boys when they're frustrated or when they're sad. And we have a prayer blanket that we do with them where we, um, we pray. Sometimes kids are psycho. Let's just be honest, they're a little psycho. They have trouble controlling their emotions. They have trouble understanding things, particularly kids with special needs. Try explaining certain things to children with special needs. It's just very difficult if they don't understand. So when my kids are really overwhelmed or really sad or just really frustrated, we get a prayer blanket and we pray under it. And okay. I let them hear me pray for them and I lay my hands on them. And I pray for them, for God to help their heart, for God to make them happy, and just make them joyful. It's, um, it's incredibly um, powerful for them to hear you pray. And then I let them pray. Sometimes they don't want to, but with the blanket covering them, it gives them this sense of comfort. So what you're doing is you're creating a sense of comfort in them and training them for when they're sad or when they're frustrated or when they're overwhelmed to go to God in prayer and eventually they will take that comfort and they won't need you for it and they'll go to God directly and you're training them to do that. I think it's really important to teach them how to channel their comfort. What are we channeling their comfort to? When they're sad, what do we do? Do we pray with them? Do we give them food? Do we give them the, the phone? What are some of the things that we do to help them channel their comfort? It's a, it's a good thing to start practicing with your babies. And it's not too late to start. I hope you guys have a super blessed day. Um, I love y'all and I'm praying for you. Okay? Bye. Bye. Bye.